this episode of the podcast, I wanted to talk about enjoying the journey. Enjoying the journey of life, regardless of where you're at. Now, a couple of things come to mind, a couple of examples that have really helped me understand this concept and embody this idea of enjoying the journey. You know, you've heard it's not about the, it's about the journey, not the destination, right? Well, that's true. It is also about the destination. It's both because we'll live in a world of duality where both things are possible. It's possible that the journey and the destination are both important because the destination is what makes you excited to keep going, right? But it's the journey that's filled with the memories along the way. So think about this. When you're excited about something, excited about your life, excited about the hopes and dreams you have for your future, that's what keeps you going sometimes, you know? That's what keeps you going. That's what allows you to get through the 24 hours regardless of how hard they are. And then other times you lose sight of the destination you lose you lose a little bit of faith you lose a little bit of hope and that's okay and then it becomes about finding appreciation and gratitude in the moment in the day taking it day by day one breath at a time one step at a time one day at a time one moment at a time now when you're watching a movie Imagine you just saw the ending. It wouldn't make sense. You're watching it for the ending. Because you want to see how the movie ends, right? You get into it as you get into your life. You know, you're you're a certain amount of years into your life. And you want to see what happens next. Same thing with the movie. You want to see what happens next. And eventually you want to see how the movie ends. It's the whole point. But it wouldn't make sense to see the ending straight away, right? Like you want to see how it builds up. It's all of the moments along the way, the highs and the lows of the characters that makes the ending so good. The ending wouldn't make sense and it wouldn't be as good or as satisfying if you didn't see the in-between. And so if you're in the in-between now, it's just because you're in the middle of the story. Your story's not over yet. If you're going through a high, that's amazing. If you're going through a low, that's amazing. Because it's never the end. You know, the highs and lows will keep on coming in different forms throughout your life. Now think about when you're reading a book, the same thing, right? You don't read page one and then go straight to the end. It's not going to make sense because you've got to read all the pages in between, all the chapters in between to understand the story, to understand what is it that happens to the characters for the ending to be the way it is. And for you to be emotionally brought into it, for you to enjoy the journey as it's happening. And then the ending is that much sweeter. Because you enjoyed the journey as you went. You understood it, it made sense. The ending only made sense because you watched the whole journey. You read the whole journey, you were present for the whole journey. You know, if you go straight to page 20 or page 30 in a book, it's not going to make sense, right? Because you haven't understood the context before that of what's happened. And then if you read after that, it's not going to make sense because you haven't read the pages before that. And so the other example is when you go on holiday, you go on vacation somewhere, right? You go on vacation because you want to have fun with family or with friends. You want to get away to this place that's near the ocean, that's full of sunshine that is full of good vibes but what's the end destination the end destination is you come back home right so you've got to enjoy the journey you're doing it for the journey 
if the point of the whole thing was to come back home anyway why would you leave in the first place it's the whole journey that makes it fun makes it memorable so the whole point of this is it's good to have a destination if you have a destination in mind of where you want to go who you want to be how you want your life to look that's great allow that to be allow that to fuel your excitement of what's possible because it's only coming to your imagination because it's possible spirit has only brought it to your attention your spirit, your soul has only brought it to your attention because it's in its reach. It's in your reach. It's possible. Even if it's not part of your conditioning and logically you have no idea how it's going to happen, it doesn't matter because the soul knows all things. And so it knows it's possible and that's why it's come to your imagination. However, let the let the journey unfold because that's what's going to make it satisfying. The end destination will only be satisfying because you went on the journey to get there. The excitement of how it unfolded, who it involved, who you met along the way, what happened, all the unexpected synchronicities and miracles that happened along the way, that's what makes it exciting. So if you're, if you're experiencing a low right now, just know it's part of the journey. It's not the end. Your journey hasn't ended yet. It's just another page in the book of your life and your life is not over yet. I love you. I'm sending you blessings. I wish you well. And I'll talk to you again soon.